Hello and welcome, Cabbage here. Uh, today let's do a, another character review and we will do Himiko, the evolution version. Uh, yeah, I was very surprised and pleased uh, to pull this one. Uh, she is a limited character, only available in the uh, Legends Hatcher. And she came out one or two months ago, I think. Um, so yeah, pretty awesome. And I've used her a little bit and she is quickly becoming one of my favorites. Very, very strong. Yeah, pretty much any uh, wood quest, uh, feel free to bring her. Alright, so let's look at her stats first. Um, she is a speed type, uh, so naturally her speed is very high, uh, over 400. Uh, but there's uh, something funny going on with her stats, uh, because her HP is ridiculous. Uh, with the, uh, the Hypermax, she is at 27,000 or so. And that is more than pretty much everybody. Just about everybody. Almost everybody. And then uh, her attack is over uh, 22,000. Um, so yeah, she is a speed type, but she has... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Something's going on. <laughs> very, very strong. And then uh, to look at her abilities, uh, she is a bounce type. And then uh, she has Wood Slayer, and then uh, Null Damage Wall on the gauge. And she is the only character, I believe, um, the only 5-star at least, with a Slayer not on the gauge. Um, I think that's right. Yeah, most characters, they have their uh, Slayer on the gauge, uh, so it only activates when, um, when uh, it's her turn. And you attack, and then you get the, uh, the, uh, the gauge shot. Um, but for her, it's just on her, you know, passively. Um, so what that's great for is that that uh, goes into her bump combo. Um, so even if it's not her turn, uh, you hit her, you set off her bump combo, and then her uh, attack is, uh, her bump combo damage is raised um, by like uh, 50% um, with the Wood Slayer. So then her uh, cross, or her X laser, XL, um, it kind of becomes the strength of a one-way laser, um, but going in four directions, which is very, very crazy. Um, and that's why it's worth taking her to quests with, like, say, mines or gravity bearers or warps, um, just because that bump combo is so strong. And then um, I, should, um, I should specify that there are other monsters with uh, slayers just passively in them, uh, but not element slayers, I think. So like fire slayer, light slayer, dark slayer, I think Himiko is the first one with the Element Slayer on just passively in there. Alright, and then uh, she has one of the most uh, powerful strike shots in the game, which is the Chain Meteor. Uh, depending on how many guys she hits, uh, that's how much damage she does. And then also uh, the Slayer uh, folds into there as well. Uh, so lots and lots of damage. Um, I've seen photos of her getting 3, 4, 5 million points of damage uh, with that strike shot. Okay, so let's move on to the level, and we are going to use her in... Uh, I forget. Oh, I think it was uh, Isun. Yeah, pint-sized hero, Isun. And then uh, the gimmicks here are uh, warps and gravity barriers. Uh, none of which uh, Himiko has, uh, but we'll see, uh, you know, how useful she is. And then uh, to talk quickly about the, uh, the rest of the team that I'm using, um, I'm using um, Vendetta Evolution. Uh, he's got no warp, and then my uh, favorite uh, bump combo, the one-way laser. Uh, next up is uh, Fenrir X. He has uh, no damage wall, no warp, and uh, he is one of the best fire max lux. Uh, I finally come around to him, and I think he is one of the best. Uh, and then finally I'm using uh, Sakamoto Ryoma, the Ascension version. And uh, he is the other uh, fire character with Wood Slayer. Um, he's been around forever, um, and uh, he is also Pierce. Uh, so it's kind of interesting to see the difference between him and uh, Himiko. Alrighty, and then um, I had no interest in uh, making a max luck of uh, Isun. Um, he has uh, Demon's Bane, and that's it. And uh, but his mission is not very difficult. 
And so for a while, uh, he was kind of really recommended as like a first mech's luck uh, for people. Because uh, he has Demon's Bane, and so you can take him to Queen Butterfly, uh, where he gets the element advantage, and then also his uh, Slayer works against the boss. Um, so that you can make Butter Queen Butterfly uh, one of the, uh, the best max Lux in the game. Um, yeah, but us with our, um, you know, our Mythos quests, um, Isun is really not that necessary. Um, but what made me change my mind was that uh, JP just got a uh, X version of Isun. Uh, that has uh, Damage Wall, Null Damage Wall, and then uh, Demon Slayer. Um, so he loses a little bit of his Slayer. Uh, he doesn't work against uh, Mancer characters anymore. Um, but he gains Damage Wall, and then he's also a shadow, uh, Dark type. So yeah, suddenly he became very, very useful, his X version. So I'll be making a Max Luck of Isun uh, in preparation for that X version that's going to come. Okay, we'll get rid of the zombies. And uh, my only character with uh, no gravity barrier is uh, Sakamoto Ryoma. So we'll try to use him to uh, go after the guys with gravity barrier first. And then I see that um, Himiko's strike shot is... Um, it takes a long time to charge up. It's a 30 turn uh, strike shot. So I might be doing a little stalling in the next uh, level or so. Okay, good positioning by Vendetta. Okay, nice laser damage by Vendetta. <laughs> and then yeah, let's take advantage of uh, Ryoma's uh, no gravity barrier here. Now, uh, Himiko, uh, able berries that are good for her. Um, she doesn't need anything uh, for her stats. Uh, since her stats are so high. Um, obvious choice, of course, would be a Sidekick to make her uh, bump combo do more damage. Um, another good one would be a Strike Haste. Um, yeah, to get that 30 turn uh, Strike Shot down at all would be very good. Um, I've said this in another video, but a uh, 30 turn Strike Shot, you're really only going to be able to use it once during the course of a mission. Uh, so to use Strike Haste on it, and then just have it more available, you know, for more of the quest, is uh, very good. Um, but also, her uh, since her speed is so high, um, what is it? Uh, knockout would be good for her. Uh, she gets a lot of attacks with her speed, and so she gets more chance of uh, triggering the knockout. Uh, here, it looks like uh, we are stalling so that we can charge up Himiko's uh, Strike Shot. And then, um, from using Himiko, actually, one kind of problem that I've run into is that um, I will get through a stage, like, too efficiently. Uh, and so I'll clear a bunch of the little guys before I get to Himiko's turn. And then when finally it's Himiko's turn to use the Strike Shot, there will only be, like, one or two enemies left on the stage. And then her strike shot doesn't do too much damage then. Um, so you kind of have to plan ahead a little bit to use her strike shot. Okay, so here is the last stage. Um, we want to get rid of the zombie there because his gravity barrier will slow down Himiko for her strike shot. So we'll use that strike shot there and then uh, clear the way for Himiko. Uh, so yeah, we have uh, five targets here. If we can hit all of them, we'll do lots of damage. Alright, well we got four. And still, 1.7 million damage, so that's pretty great. And then, uh, it doesn't matter if you, uh, you know, take down a guy um, as you're going through to set up the chain medio. Uh, as long as uh, you just hit the guy at all, that counts as a hit, so... 
Okay. Oh, let me point out my ridiculously high hit points <laughs> before we leave the stage. Uh, so yeah, that is my review of uh, Himiko. I am super pleased with her. Very, very strong. And uh, I would like to get one more. Uh, her Ascension version, uh, not quite as good or versatile, but still very, very strong. Uh, kind of in a more specified way. Alrighty. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you again. Take care.